You know what time it is. Full day of eating with the Georgie boy. My calories are here and my macros are here. Full day of eating, bulking. I'm trying to get fucking fat as fuck, mate. <laughs> First meal is going down. Usually I'd have this about half five, but recording takes a little bit longer, man. Take a little bit longer. Anyway, as you can already tell, meal number one, two whole eggs, two bagels, two bacon medallions, two chicken sausages, and uh, one apple on the side for the Georgia boy. Ketchup, mustard, ketchup mustard, it ain't fucking much mustard, mate. What the fuck did I say mustard? Ketchup, mayo, Nando's, Barbecue sauce, bang, little test test for you. Cheers on that. Mm. That, my friends, is meal number one done and dusted. We, coffee, bed. We, we got ourselves a, you can't see it from here probably, a sad light for the morning, because it's so dark outside at the moment that when I wake up, I'm fucking miserable. So we decided to get one of these lamps, which are quite bright. And so far, to be entirely honest with you, ain't done shit, ain't done shit. Cause I still feel the exact same. So these sad lights are absolutely fucking bullshit. I don't believe in them one bit. Coffee. Check-ins going down with the team. Again. Don't know what I was gonna say. I normally start work around 7 a.m. Probably a little bit before that, actually, 6.58 right now. I'm still gonna have a few puffs of a vape. However, I'm gonna be stopping in the new year. He says. He fucking says. That, I'll be sat here for a couple of hours replying to check-ins, all that sort of good stuff. So. Not much I can really say other than I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let's get it. Right, it's time to prep meal number two, which is the pre-workout. 9.30. Look at that little stunner in the background. There we go. We have been using the rice cooker. Absolute game changer. Rather than boiling rice, put our rice on for the day, put it in there, bosh, cook it, put it in a tubware, put it in the fridge, we'll have it for later. I'll heat up in the pan. Weighed out 150 grams of chicken seasonings that I use for the chicken. Smoked paprika, standard. And something Victoria got me in. Prishyarpan de Tuatre, Shika Borniko. Shaparavato Kotleta Swapka. Huh? Shaparavato Kotleta Swapka. Shaparavato Kotleta Swapka. Oh, 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 o
Right, pre-workout meal, 140 grams of raw weight jasmine rice, 125 grams of asparagus, 150 grams of chicken, and 20 grams, 20 grams of dark chocolate as well. What you got, Vicky? Ah, yeah, no, don't swallow it, don't swallow it, don't swallow it. Look at the steak. What have you got? How much rice? 75 grams of raw weight rice. Yeah. Tuna. Sweet corn. Sweet corn. Pineapple. Pineapple and lettuce. Is that your pre-workout meal? Grim. Vicky's been struggling with her pre-workout meal lately, haven't you? It doesn't seem to be going down the hole right. Why are you smirking for that? <laughs> that is slazer behaviour. Yeah, she's she's been struggling to sort of. So at the moment, I think my advice to Victoria has been like just find something that sits well with you and your offseason because your appetite isn't great for whatever reason. Don't know why, because it's never happened before. Yeah, at the moment we're going for like bread, which seems to sit well with you better than, for example, rice. So sometimes- Can't do rice, can't do meat, can't do cream of rice. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Last time, this is probably the, the, the fuck am I trying to say the, here? The, 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 <laughs> this is probably the first time in about four years that you've probably seen me change my pre-workout meal. I'm not having cream of rice anymore because I have it pre and post and it's just, it's just not the same. It's just not the same. Whereas prep, oh gosh, we'll have that all fucking day, every meal. But it's just not hitting differently. So I've just gone for rice just to mix it up a little bit. Uh, and it sits quite well with me. But yeah, in the moments where food is high and your appetite is low, sometimes you've just got to do what you've got to do. So shakes, you've got to just find things like granola, calorie dense sort of food choices just to get the fucking thing done. Could have like yogurt granola. That's what you could have. Yeah. Rice cake. Almond butter. You could just go back to that. Sound Lincoln Bio coaching. So we're in the lab, the lab here, just making my intra workout shake. So I think I went through this in a, in a pre previous or recent video. Victoria at the moment she has 20 grams of EAAs. Now Victoria never drinks any of her water, so when it comes to actually filling up a bottle, I literally fill it up halfway, if that, because she just does not drink her intra workout. So sorry, Wix, I've outed you there. Um, this is the EAAs that we use. So this is the Anova Farm, probably the best tasting one in my opinion when it comes to just drinkability. Drinkability? I don't know if that's a word, guys, but we're just going to run with it. Water, melon, gummy, candy, taste delicious. So one serving of that, which is about 18 grams in the old intra workout. Now the difference between me and Victoria is I have carbs, an absolute staple for me throughout prep, especially in off season, absolute go-to. Got 30 grams of carbs. It hasn't actually changed since I've been in my growing phase. The highest I've pushed this is I think 50 carb once. Anything above 50, man gets leaky bum bum. Man is pouring, spewing out of his asshole. And man, get, oh, oh, saying that, I've just put 43 grams of carbs in there. 40, nah bro, 37, 37, well, man's having 37 grams of carbs then. I was talking about 50 grams of carbs and I'll just pour in 50 carb in there. So that is about 100, I reckon about 180 calories I have from maybe 200 calories from my intra workout. Always absolutely stable for me. So if you train, in my opinion, more than an hour and a half, I think intra workouts can be quite beneficial. If you train less than that, I think your pre-workout will cover you guys. I don't think you need to get an intra workout. And the way I see this, it's a small investment, okay? So whether it actually has any sort of benefits and people like just eat fucking sweets or just have sugar in your intra workout. Listen, you can fucking do that if you want. Whether it does actually add any benefits, who fucking knows? But for me, I'm all about the 1%. So 1%, in my opinion, is significant and what the fuck am I trying to say here, George? You fucking idiot. Get out of your fucking god before you say anything, yeah? What are you trying to say? Absolute waffle. But, 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 you think after six years of doing YouTube, I'd be able to fucking speak now? I can't. 1%. For me, it's worth the investment. Anything progress wise, 1%, more than enough, more than happy with that. So, just a 1% investment there. Oh, yeah, last thing creatine. Where have I put that? I put my creatine in my pre workout just for preference. I don't know, just remember. I can't fucking shit YouTuber, and I can't fucking speak properly, me. Fucking speak properly, you fucking dickhead. I can't fuck you. <laughs> Don't know why I have to do that in a Scouse accent. It just sounds better in Scouse, isn't it? On to the pre workout. Now, MV Pre would usually be my goat, but unfortunately, we're. We've got crumbs left, so we need to get some more. Got a few non stims in here that I use. Supplement needs one I like. A few others here. F bomb. Not really a big fan of this pre workout. I have not really taken it. Winter Soldier from uh, Naughty Boy is pretty good. I think this is a non stim. Yeah, it's a non stim. Ah, fuck. What are we going to go for today? I think today I'm going to go for this one. I'm going to go for this one. 
Creatine at the moment, we have one gram per 10 kilos. So Victoria's 67 kilos right now. She'll have six grams. I'm about 85 kilos right now. So I will have eight grams. I, however, let me fucking sort this out. Fucking hell, here we go. Kid it, there we go. I, today, will have half a scoop of this Foresight Nutrition. Now we took this to Dubai last time I had this, was in Dubai last year, not the year just gone. Fuck, why is that in? Fuck off. Free workout I'm having today is the Insights, for, Foresight Nutrition by Insight. I'm gonna have half a scoop. So one scoop of this is nine grams. I'm gonna have four grams because the last time I took this was in Dubai. 2022 and we took this and I felt like I was gonna fucking throw up which very rarely happens when it comes to a uh, pre-workout So if you want a really high dosed pre-workout, this is gonna fucking send you loopy So half a scoop of that because I'm basically pussy and then we're gonna have half a scoop of non-stim So I like to mix a stim and a non-stim both together man. Fucking no, baby. You're fucking sexy uh <laughs> Just got to the old gymnasium, pool day, deadlift day. We're not talking. We're both, we've, both, we've had an argument, guys. So we're not talking. Not always the sunshine and rainbows. Look at us smirking, bruh. We've had an argument, guys. We ain't, we ain't friends at the moment. And uh, as much as we are, look at her, she's walking off now. She's had enough. Look at her. Uh, yeah, we've we've argued, so it's not been a it's not been a good little pre-workout, you know, guys. As much as it is sunshine and rainbows, and you know, we look like a couple goals online. We do have our arguments. Whilst we are still a couple goals, we still have our uh, arguments and falling out. So yeah, we're not on talking terms right now. I ain't really got much to say in this pre-workout. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, uh, she's smirking. She's all right, really. She's just not talking to me, which everyone is probably a good thing. <laughs> anyway, deadlifting, full day of eating, so I'm not gonna go too much into the YouTube video regards training. I did that yesterday, yesterday did that last week, uh, or last video, whatever you wanna fucking say. So I'm gonna probably probably provide some highlights, a few little clips, hopefully we'll get some PBs. Fucking nuts switched on. Oh yeah, the pre-workout, just drunk. Combination of like three different flavors, absolute no-go. Tasted horrendous, absolutely horrendous. Yeah, hopefully I don't shit myself in this workout or get a really bad upset stomach, you know, one of those ones and you're just trying to work out but you're just sharting every five seconds. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Anyway, if you got to this part of the video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. You're watching me, you're not subscribed, like what the fuck are you doing, motherfucker? Bow, bow. Get chinged up if you don't subscribe to the Georgie boy, innit? Done, no. Let's get it. Deadlift, big day, big session. Nut needs to be fucking screwed on. Look, 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 look. Fucking screw it on. Fucking get that bean in the game, right? Because we're fucking sick of being small. Guys, she's just fucking walked off. Like, keep it between me and you. She'll probably watch this video right now, so I need to be careful what I say. Yeah, we've... we've oh, you need to drop the camera then. We're falling out. We're not on talking terms. She's, she's just... Yeah, she's not good. So... Hopefully, we don't fall out during the training session and argue mid-session, but yeah... It does happen, man. I'll probably give her a big kiss and a cuddle. I'm like, I love you, Victoria. You mean the world to me. At the moment, it's... You stay away from me, you. Anyway, shut up. Shut the fuck up! You fucking prick! Let's get into the gym. Guys, she's walked off. She's not even... Normally, she gives me a kiss if she walks off. She hasn't given me a kiss. Georgie boy's in big trouble. Fuck this, fuck this shit. DT5 on the beat. DT5 on the beat. Elevate, this mix sounds mad. No, I be boys and beaches, babies. I was in jail, cause Chopper fella got a rocker fella like Jay Z. Ain't in a Y when I'm when I glide in a 518 for the rap, this London. If she got bunda like Miss London, make him an X and let's have fun then. Three W's that we want race, cause we had dingers and we had faith. 2.2s or big V844s and Jay's in the upper state. They bust two times when they drop my face. I told he scammed the snapper like SR, me, I'm more of a stabber. Man better mind their Q's and P's around me, you know what I mean, to correct my grammar. Send little man all with Dappy and Faze, I'll put in dubs and hit that town. 
And a team like MLK that feds wanna stop him car, he's brown Bands make a dance like Juicy J, so after we G, I can't be found In the back of the rag, go Eagle Eye, don't hate him back, just bought me a count Pop out like Polo G and hit man's head, John F. Kennedy Real motherfucker like Easy E, I'm in the White House, ain't in DC I don't need skill to bag this B, just give me a table, clean and sheets Anything goes for active gang, our guns get bang like hoes get beat Just throw up if you fuck with me, for any mouth brothers I make you bleed My, my, my loyalty sworn to the AGBs, 3AR to my age is free Just throw up if you fuck with me, for any mouth brothers I make you bleed Loyalty sworn to the AGBs, 3AR to my age is free Locked up in my teens, no GCSEs, still give you a backwards A to Z Bro, stepped in the scene, G lock in his jeans, sharp shooter, he don't need no beam We fill magazines and do mazzalines, then cover our chases with gasoline Cracking my hand, don't need Vaseline, I'll get that gun from the local feed Green Reaper, bros keeper, tryna get twin heaters Measure my shank is a meter, always been horrid like Henry Never been a perfect Peter You have post-workout Post-workout consists of 115 grams of cream of rice Cookies and cream flavor, trained by JP, probably the best one I've had. 100 grams of Cocoa Pops, 40 grams of this whey iso from, uh, oh, it's not fucking focusing. 40 grams of the whey isolate, cookies and cream flavor by Diamatize ISO 100. Been using isolates because man's been fucking farting like nobody's business with the perform. As much as I love the perform, my stomach ain't saying thank you very much. My stomach's saying, Ugh. That's what my stomach's saying, trust. Vicky knows the smell, innit? Done. And then I have 100 grams of one banana in there, which, guys, trust, I heave over that shit. I don't like banana, but I'll eat it mixed in something, and if I don't heave, it's a big win. What are you doing? Protein. What are you adding into your cream of rice, huh? Protein. Protein? Yeah. What, quality shorts? Yeah, pick one. If I had to pick one. No, not the one that you would pick. Just pick one for me. I had that one, but yeah, I had that one. <laughs> oh, good choice. See, I know you very well. John? Mmm. I love the normal chocolate one then, if there's one in there. I won't have. Yes. I only have these ones. That's, this is a chocolate hazelnut one. Do you want to try this one? Yeah, why not? Post workout will always be biggest carb meal of the day. I think there must be probably plus 200 carb in that post workout meal. Um, the highest I've ever pushed my post workout is like up to 300 carb in one go. Pretty, pretty hefty amount. The reason why I would have. <laughs> and the Glycomax, you're done. Now going straight in. I have two capsules of Glycomax with uh, pretty much every carb meal that I have right now. Are they beneficial? Are they going to be the game changer? Absolutely not. But again, all about those 1% guys, all about those 1%. So what I was saying about post-workout meal, typically I would always have a very big high carb meal post-workout because the demand is there from your training, right? Where are you going to absorb most of your food or most carbs? And probably the answer is going to be post-workout. Create that demand from the training. So what we want to try and do, not necessarily replenish glycogen because there's no way depleting myself of glycogen for my training session but the demand to shunt those carbs where they need to go i.e the muscles the demand is higher post-workout so i would always try and suggest having your highest carb meal post-workout if you can of course it ain't gonna make massive difference being totally honest with you but that's just my two percent well, what do you think wix yeah yeah any any scientific shush shush any sciencey stuff about Science says you get an increased expression of GLUT4, which is a glucose transport on skeletal muscle post-workout. That's why you have more carbs. So what does that mean then? GLUT4, like a little transporter on the cells. Mm -hmm. It's like a little tunnel, right? Yeah. It goes up to the cells, it's on the cells, and the glucose goes. Okay. So the demand there is high. See? See? I read that somewhere, don't don't take that as good ah. knowledge. Almost forgot, taste test. This is probably the worst meal today, if I'm honest with you now. I said to you I'm gonna try and mix up my cereal choice because it's a little bit too chocolatey for me now, if you know what I mean. Do you ever get that vibe? Yeah. A little bit too much chocolate. And then we've just added a chocolate into the post-workout as well. Great. Oh banana. It's a five out of ten. I and banana a bit, yeah. Do you know what's funny? Mm -hmm. That would be your post-show meal. I know. That of choice. It's mad how things change. I used to like 
gag for this. Literally, like, I'd die over this. Now, fast forward a year and a bit later, man yeah. is fucking, ugh. I remember George finished his, was it BMBF? Yep. BMBF show. And I was like, what are we going to have post? And he was just like, cream of rice. Oh, Or we yeah. just had cream of rice. I had my tuna salad. Great. Good times. But fuck all that shit. Fuck the tuna salads. Fucking, you want to get small? That's the operation, get small if you eat tuna salads. God. Thank you. Is that back when you used to be vegetarian? Or vegan? Sorry. Pescatarian. Pescatarian. God help us. Meal number four. Very basic for me. It's beef mince, rice, green oh, beans. God. Vicky's come up with a new little plan. she got panini bread. Is that how you say it? Panini bread? Cheese. Tuna, mayo, sweet corn, lettuce. Nice. What are you gonna do? Oh, oh. Sure. And um, I've got two hundred grams of pineapple. What I'm gonna use, season, no, sauces wise, condiments wise, ketchup, mayo. That's funny, bro. <laughs> if you got something to say, you say it in front of the fucking camera. Yeah. 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 yeah she is. I know. I forgot the little scroll bit for my tripod, so it's fucked. That's why I didn't record anything. Sorry about the uh, train footage, guys. I've got the clip for my tripod, so man had to sort of either get Wix to record, which I'm very thankful for. Ah, oh, what's out? Just put it on. This. When did you you got me into this, innit? Yeah, I did. Wait, did, well, did we buy it for what reason? I just bought it because I saw it. Yeah, so Wix bought this for just one random reason. One random reason? Nando's barbecue sauce. Cheers! At the moment, I don't track. Oh, I just splooge it on. This is the go though, isn't it? Let's be honest. If we had to pick one of the three, we'd go for this, wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Lighter than light, mayonnaise, 15 calories per teaspoon. Again, I don't track it, I just plod it on like that. You notice, guys, I'm using quite a lot of sauces right now. The reason behind Jesus that, Christ! I know, the, re the, re the reason behind that is man's got a bit of a... Bit of a lower appetite lately. Sauce is a great way to get the food down. Funny enough, guys, I'm not eating with a... Uh... Oh, fuck. I've got the main ingredient. Ugh. I need more oil. Man, man used to use the old teaspoons, innit? The little uh, Starbucks. Little... You think you are? What do you mean? Man used some teaspoons, innit? Man used teaspoons, innit? Back in the, the Starbucks latte one that I stole, innit? Shout out Starbucks, wouldn't be stuck that. Fuck that anymore, guys. Couldn't think anything worse, so right with a big spoon. Eventually, I love your spoon, guys. It's great. <laughs> That's not a spoon. It's amazing. Okay. Uh, this could be the next one. i scoop up like that. Cute. You meant to laugh? <laughs> you need those effects on your edits. There we go. Ah! Main ingredient we've got that, guys. This scales are shit. These ones are better. Five grams in the macadamia oil. Got it from Amazon. Absolute game changer. So again, if appetite's low, just pour a little bit on like this. I've got five grams. May go a little bit over. We don't know. Six grams. If I was on prep and that was six grams, I'd be making the whole meal again. I'll be putting it all in the bin that. That's an eating disorder. How bad do I want it, Vix? Well, why couldn't you just put that in there and then put everything you've eaten into my fitness pal and then reshuffle your macros no, from your last meal? No, that's going, on. that's going away from the plan. That's not how we do things around here. You follow the channel for a while, we know we stick to the plan to the T. Right, yeah, that is my good. next meal. This is probably the moment, same with post-workout. <laughs> <laughs> See when the post work out. <laughs> this meal is probably one that I'm not looking forward to. I used to love it, but man ain't looking forward to it anymore. What are you turn up your nose for? Because literally yesterday you said something completely different. I said, why don't I make you one of these? It said, no, I enjoy that meal. Yeah. Well, today I don't enjoy it, okay? Polishing off the last bit of water. Um, five and a half litres of water going in today. Maybe six with the coffee. So, how much water have you drunk, Victoria? That's your first bottle from today, isn't it? Yeah, but I've also had Intra and I've also had Hydromax. That's not even, there's probably about, not even a litre of oh, water there. Huh? Oh, damn it, okay. Anyway, we'll give you a taste test in a second. Wix, we know the camera for about five minutes. Four. Four. And we'll see you in there, in the lab. Hashtag the living room where we watch some YouTube videos. Bye, guys. Mmm, dreamy. Oh, baby.
believe I didn't record any of that. You did because it was four I didn't. minutes. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Can you do that again? You'd have recorded it. <laughs> I that fucking didn't. So why is this why are you saying four minutes then? It's I thought it said four minutes, but it says four hour oh eight. <laughs> have you not recorded show me? <laughs> oh you twat. Hey funny. It was funny. It's not <laughs> Yeah, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. That would do, donkey. That would do. Right. No, none of your... You, she just burped. Your little sluzzer. A little taste test. I've got to admit, the rice is much better than the rice cooker, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Much better. Not bad. Oh yeah, 125 grams of raw rice, 150 grams of um, beef mince, 5%. And what was the green beans that you put in there? 100. 100 grams of beans. 100 grams of beans. I've got my eggs. 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 I've got my Okay. Oh, I'll rate the question to you guys. Oh no, because it's not done yet. <laughs> that, that just, that's us summarised. It's half done. It's half done. Half done. Least, listen, I don't make an effort at Christmas, but at least we did, innit? This thing could be like, right. Right, blue light buckers on. You know what time it is. Last, last meal. It's basically the exact same as the first one. Two bacon medallions, two chicken sausages, two medium-sized eggs, and two bagels with some ketchup, some lighter than light mayo, and some Peri Peri Nando's barbecue sauce on top. Little taste test for you. Probably can't even see that. Let me go wash. That's how Splendid Space. That's how Splendid Space there we have it. That's my full day of eating. And it was basically Victoria's full day of eating as well because I think pretty much all her meals were in there. And the ones that I didn't show, she had the exact same as mine. Just maybe just lift different portion sizes. If you have enjoyed today's video, please comment down below. Battery, as you watch the whole thing. This is a battery for my mic. In case you wonder why I've got a random big old fucking battery. Look at like that bad boy. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. We're off to Poland, aren't we? So we might see a, a Poland vlog. Big up Poland, didn't it? My geez. Never been to Poland before, so excited to go. Excited to experience the vibe, the culture. So we'll record, won't we? Yes, we will. Yeah, we'll record. Have some uh, Polish vodka, a traditional Polish Christmas market. Yeah. And start a scrap with the locals. Kimmy! Show us how these fucking Brits do. Anyway, battery, safe. See you in a bit.